Hi, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk mountain weather and ski conditions. And the first thing we're going to look at is a sunny Alta, Utah right now, just shy of 400 inches for the season. There's a nice storm coming in for the weekend. I think it should push them well over 400 inches, as you'll see in the forecast. So that is Alta. And let's move into the radar and the satellite, then we'll get into the analysis. So really, I mean, all eyes are going to be on this one storm, which is sitting out over the Pacific. I mean, you can see the spin. It's got a nice spin, nice comma shape, good size to it. So let me just see if I can mark the, uh, the low pressure. There it is. The whole thing is going to be moving in. It's got a little bit of jet support with it, which I'm going to show you. So it actually, I think, sets us up for a pretty nice weekend across the west, the Pacific Northwest, the Intermountain West, Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, Colorado. I'll show you all that. So, all right, so I widened the view just a little bit so you can kind of see the jet stream over the east and over the west. And the west is the place to be right now. The northeast is suffering from a split jet, and they're kind of caught in between, so it's pretty dry. Um, the, a lot of the big resorts are going to get missed, but I stop it here on Saturday at uh, noon on the clock. I want to point out a couple of things. We've got a nice little jet streak or nose of wind coming up into the Tetons. I think Saturday is a great powder day for the Tetons, Grand Targhee, Big Sky even, um, possibly even Discovery into Jackson Hole. I think Saturday is the day to ski those areas, moderate to heavy accumulations. And it's just starting in the morning in Alta and the little big Cottonwood Canyons, the Wasatch, just starting, but it should snow all day. And then Sunday should be a fine powder day across the Wasatch, and then that would move into Colorado. But anyway, that is the jet stream at this point. And yes, it, it uh, is going to favor the West. And look at uh, Monday morning. By the time we get to Monday, there's a secondary storm coming down, sort of a Northwest orientated orientation on the jet into the Pacific. And then this powerful jet stream is pointing right into Colorado. I think on Sunday, uh, Saturday afternoon, Saturday night into Sunday, we'll see snow in Colorado. And it could continue into Monday if this low sets up across the front range of Colorado wrapping snow back over the top of the Continental Divide and towards uh, the Front Range High Peak. So I'll point out all of that on the future radar. Here it is. It is uh, pretty much dry across uh, the interior right now. And it's just, of course, watching that western storm, as I pointed out on radar satellite. So it comes in. And look at the precip from Whistler all the way down through the Cascades, running into the Sierra. This is just the start. Moves moisture into Sun Valley. Here's the key time frame. So we go from Friday, Friday afternoon, Friday night, into Saturday morning. And all of that moisture continues to swing in with the jet stream. And look at that. It's snowing in the Tetons, Big Sky, Sun Valley, Grand Targhee, uh, already in motion. So Saturday's the day there. It's just arriving, as I was saying, in the Wasatch. So the snow will be falling during the day, and then the whole thing will be rolling into Colorado with the jet stream. Now behind it, that secondary low will be coming down somewhat of that northwest orientation on the jet into Whistler, into the Pacific Northwest, and into the Cascades. So that would be the next thing for next week. But Let's track this thing between Saturday early and then Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, and Sunday morning. All of that moisture rolls through the Wasatch, uh, through the high winters, and into Colorado. So this is Sunday morning at 5. Look at the snow across Colorado. A little bit of leftover snow on the backside. And then that, by the time we get into Monday morning, again, we'll have to watch for a low to develop along the front range of Colorado and wrap snow back into Colorado. But Sunday would be a good day to ski Colorado, and so would Monday as well. I think both days would be just fine. Um, and notice that next storm moving into Whistler in the Pacific Northwest. All right, so let's look at snow accumulations here across the West. Um, again, not a lot right now unless you're in the Pacific Northwest. If you're skiing Friday morning, shoot for Whistler, Blackcomb, Baker, or somewhere down in uh, California, the Tahoe area up towards Mount Shasta. Now, easier decision here. Into Saturday morning, it's already snowing and accumulating in the Tetons and Big Sky, and it will only increase during the day, and that includes the Wasatch. So let's move this into Sunday morning. Look at those totals by Sunday morning. Over a foot in Jackson Hole, over a foot in Big Sky, over a foot in Grand Targhee, uh, over a foot in Alta, Snowburn, and about a foot in Park City, uh, up towards Snow Basin. And Colorado's just starting. You know, We're just starting to accumulate I'd say an easily two to four inches by Sunday morning with additional accumulations in Colorado during the day all the way into Monday. Now on the back side, we've accumulated some very nice totals over Baker, um, Rainier, Stevens Pass, Whistler, so that area would be nice. Look at Revelstoke up to eight. 
down in California, we've added some nice totals in NAMA. So there you go, uh, a look at the weekend. Looks like there's some great powder on the way. And again, always appreciate you tuning in here. Take care.